hi everybody this is chelisa thank you so much everyone for coming back to my channel and thank you so much for listening in the podcast it is friday march 8 2024 i heard about this story yesterday and i couldn't believe what i was seeing when you hear about stories like the one i'm going i'm going to tell you about i it makes you wonder why do people do on their free time when you have a former our advocate for New York City criminal justice who was this guy was just featured in a podcast talking about his experience and how now he's going to be an advocate for criminal justice this man was found holding and it can be very graphic but I'm going to say but he was found moving body parts holding a torso like are you serious this is what people are doing on their free time it tells you the amount of evil that is in the world okay it tells you that everybody it's almost like you have to be so careful like who can you trust uh, trust people are living like lies like obviously not everybody but you have to be more aware and something that i also pray about for myself i always pray about this sermon god you know when you meet people for the first time and there's something off and you cannot you like i can't pinpoint it you have to be so careful with that because you don't want to base it on something that you're projecting on that person right but when you meet them again and you still have the same type of art feeling, that's something that you need to pay attention because it's almost like your own like alert system is going off. People are becoming experts, are living, uh, living a different, like a double lie. I told you guys a couple of episodes back that Instagram is so hard these days. This is what happened to me recently. Instagram, I noticed something. I'm like, wait a second, you know, I opened, my business my old business julissa designs back in 2014 it's 2024 (laughs) and i noticed something interesting because i'm like i have people following my page and checking out my stories that never ever liked anything and i'm like that's people that i know personally obviously i'm like that's a little odd because it's not like i post selfies you know i don't do even selfies is I post events that I do, fashion shows, you know, scripture and clothing that I'm selling. These people have never, like, I'm talking about people that, you know, I will consider close for me, I mean, close to me and like even some family members. I'm like, wait a second, this is makes sense. Like these people that will always say to me, I can't wait. You know, you're going to be a designer. This is years back. And now that I'm living the designer life and doing fashion shows, they never, ever like anything I post. Yeah, they look at my stories constantly. And I'm like, wait a second, are these monitoring spirit? Are these people, that's what they do. They just want to see what I'm doing, but they're never going to like it. It's almost like they say one thing to your face and do another. It's so hard now to trust people fully it's crazy and you you will think um this guy like i said was featured on joe rogan i believe that's his name he was featured not long ago last month on his podcast talking about his experience and he was formerly incarcerated turning into becoming an advocate for the new york city criminal justice was just charged because he apparently killed somebody and dismembered the body and was caught on camera like what is going on this is insane it's terrifying these are movie scripts that are becoming real life and people are gonna say well you know what you expect is harlem it's new york city is this and the other yeah but this man was just like i said before he is known for being an advocate for justice and criminal you know kind of like for for the law and like doing things right after living the past life that he said you know live in that stay in the past and now look at what happened then you look at his face when this man got arrested 
you look at his face and then you see because one thing that you can never hide and it shows in your face is when you're living a sinful life okay the 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 glow of the lord the joy of the lord shows on people on their faces one thing you have to be careful is about flattery flattery is overdoing it you know when those people they overdo it it's like you meet them for the first time and they love everything and they're like, i love everything i love everything you there okay calm down when you have the lord and you you try to live a sinful life it shows in your face it shows the splendor right and you cannot fake that that's what i'm trying to say this man he can fake it you know people say fake it to you make all of this stuff that's i think that started like some years ago and people went with that slogan fake it to you make it and he became a double life for a lot of people but this man you look at his photos that were published yesterday after he was arrested do you see the evilness in his face like i said sin shows in your face okay no matter how much people try to fake smile or something it will eventually sh show and talking about that you you look at people when they're being fake with you they'll be like oh that's so great you did everything like i like how you did that and the other and then a second after they have that mean look in their face and you're like what just happened man that was like a switch that went off you don't say anything but these are things that you notice right so always pray for the sermon <laughs> always pray for the sermon i had received looks like you know when people see that you 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 dress nice or something they they cannot even say anything and they give you that evil face look and you it's almost like you feel in your spirit i'm like okay wow <laughs> Okay, so let me read to you. Formerly incarcerated advocate for New York City criminal justice reform was arrested for murder. And like I said, this happened, um, I guess it was late yesterday. A man who spent decades, decades in prison, now he's heading to prison. A man who spent decades in prison before starting a new chapter as a high profile advocate for criminal justice reform has been arrested and charged in the brutal murder and this memberment of a bronze man sheldon johnson 48 years old was arrested and charged with murder manslaughter criminal possession of a weapon and concealment of a human corpse on thursday according to the uh, nypd johnson was arraigned thursday and pleaded not guilty to all charges he was uh, remanded back into custody and is due back in court on monday he stands accused of finally Failure shooting Colin Small 44 inside a small bronze apartment, according to court records. And it's crazy because then the neighbors, like I told you before, your neighbors, they know your patterns, right? They know what time you usually come home. You know, like there's always people. Like I always feel like there's always somebody watching. Um, so the neighbors spoke and they said, we hear, we hear people, somebody um, pleading for their life and wow that's crazy and this man was walking around right sheldon he was walking around saying how he spent all these years in the criminal in, you know in custody in jail and now he wants to help people and give back and be an advocate for criminal justice that change like that can only be accomplished by jesus christ in your life a change that it's a transformation the all stays in the back and the you know you're a new person in christ that can only be accomplished by jesus christ working in your life so it's crazy that this man decided to go back to that and that's another thing that tells you these days people get angry and they take ratchet drastic decisions that can change people's life for ever you you see it when people are driving you see when you meet somebody that has an anger problem they don't care who's watching they don't care if you're there celebrating somebody's birthday if they're angry everybody else has to f 
like receive their fury and their anger. They don't care at that moment. If something upsets them, up, upsets that person that has the anger problem, they will, you know, they will just make rash it, you know, behavior decisions. Regardless, it's like I'm angry, so I'm gonna ruin everything for everybody. That's crazy. It's so crazy. You know, the the Bible said the fruit of the spirit is peace, joy, joy, um, gentleness. There's so many, you know, self-control. There's so many of fruit of the spirit. So it's when you read your Bible and you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, when you see somebody, you know, presenting that type of behavior, you you immediately can pick on that. And you're like, wow, you know, something's going on here. So let me just see. Police were called to a small apartment after neighbors overheard gunshots coming from inside on Tuesday this week. Excuse me. According to a law enforcement source, neighbors heard two gunshots and gunshots and the two more shots, they say. When police arrived, they found an identified human torso at the apartment. Oh my goodness. The police officer Johnson was a was a the excuse me Johnson was at small apartment when officers arrived. A law enforcement official uh, told the news when law enforcement official visited the suspect Harlem home, they discover a human arm. Oh my goodness, this is so graphic! I can't even read it. They discover body parts. Let me just say it to you like that. And one gun sh- in. It was stored, some of the body parts were stored in the freezer. I'm just going to leave it there. Like I said, this is very graphic. It's very graphic. It makes you wonder. Like, people think, like, like, do you forget that you're going to answer to God one day? Like, that's crazy. And that tells you that's just the enemy operating on somebody. It's, I I don't even know what else to say. It's just, you know, I heard actually I I saw an interview about um, one of the neighbors of Sheldon Johnson, which is the accused here, that he was actually um, seen on surveillance camera removing, you know, large bags, which the police believe were, you know, body parts from that apartment. And he was like trying to disguise himself like wearing a wig um wearing like a hat and things like that and then i saw an interview with one of his neighbors like i said your neighbors they know you and they say you know he this guy was talking about how you just never know what people you know do and things like that and this guy one of his neighbors right of the accused he he said do you look the, at this man that man always looked like he dressed very nice. He was very polite and he seemed like a professional businessman. That's so crazy. That's so crazy. Who would have thought, right? And then he mentioned that he will see him walking his dog. It's crazy to me that this is what goes on behind closed, closed door. You have to be aware of your surroundings. You have to ask for prayer. And like I said, you know, don't like when I when when I read in the Bible that it talks about flattery, you have to think about you have to think about that because people love to use flattery to get to get closer to you and to get, you know, like let's see if I, I flatter her so she can tell me this and like tell me you have to ask God for this sermon. Okay. Um this is crazy. I hope that the families of the person, I mean, what a, what a gruesome discovery for them to find their loved one to have been, you know, they heard, they said that he, they heard the man begging for his life. So it's so crazy that now the family has to deal with this. But, you know, just keep the family in, in prayers. And I hope Sheldon, I hope this guy, uh, Sheldon Johnson, really comes to the Lord and have, and, you know, change his life around, but now he has to pay for the crime. 
you know, he can come to the Lord and he can turn his life around, but he still has to suffer the consequences of what he did. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming back to my channel. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, also, I meant to tell you before, I am offering subscription to the podcast. You can go ahead and join. Um, if you listen to me in, in any of the platforms, you can join the subscription also on Apple Podcasts. And also, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Have a good day, everybody. God bless.